my research at the University of Miami has been centered on the following two focus area understanding the functioning of peptide bond cleaving enzymes and designing of their synthetic analogs and elucidating the aggregation mechanism of disease related biomolecules and designing of their inhibitors we have been employing a plethora of computational and theoretical techniques including molecular dynamic simulations quantum mechanics hybrid quantum mechanics molecular mechanics uh, nuclear spin relaxation in, um, agent based modeling and virtual screening to accomplish the goals of these projects in this perspective we have discussed the roles of protein dynamics in the aggregation of alzheimer amyloid beta peptide and formation of enzyme substrate complexes of beta secretase that generates this peptide and insulin degrading enzyme that degrades it Aggregation is a basic property of polypeptide chains and currently more than 20 proteins are known to form amyloid-like fibrils. This process is associated with uh, several life-threatening diseases such as Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson, Huntington, cow, mad cow disease and type 2 diabetes. A large body of evidence suggests that electronic nature of individual amino acid residues and specific regions of A-beta peptide play important role in the mechanism and rate of aggregation and morphology of aggregates. The site-specific structural data obtained from these studies has provided an atomic level understanding of aggregation process of A-beta peptide and other biomolecules and could lead to the designing of small molecules with anti-aggregation properties for the treatment of various neurological disorders. On the other hand, elucid elucidation of the roles of dynamics in generation of enzyme substrate complexes is critical to understanding the catalytic functioning of enzymes. The investigations concerning enzyme substrate interactions, base 1 amyloid precursor protein and insulin degrading enzyme and amyloid beta will advance this understanding. The amyloid beta peptides are generated through the hydrolytic cleavage of the methionine 671 and aspartic acid 672 peptide bonds of amyloid precursor protein by base 1. It shows as this movie. The active site of base 1 contains a catalytic aspartic acid diet which is covered over by an anti-parallel hairpin loop that is known as a flap. During the catalytic circle, the flap must open to allow the entrance of the substrate into the active site and steer it towards the aspartic acid diet to attain a reactive conformation. In this conformation, the specific peptide bond of the substrate is hydrolytically leave. A double mutant of APP known as the Swedish mutant has been reported to enhance the activity of base 1 by 64. This increase in the activity could be due to the differential substrate specificity of the enzyme. So we perform all atom 20 nanosecond molecular dynamic simulations to investigate the interactions of the y type substrate and Swedish mutant with base 1. In the MD simulation, the flap was more closed and the actic site was more constricted upon the bonding of the Swedish substrate through the comparison between three important interatomic distances and the volume of the actic site. And the Swedish substrate was found to form two times more hydrogen bonds than the white type substrate. All these structural differences indicate base 1 has greater affinity for the Swedish substrate and arrange it in a more bioactive conformation. In this part of the perspective, we're going to discuss the, the role of the dynamics of the enzyme substrate complex. So we did a 20 nanosecond full classical MD uh, simulation on insulin degrading enzyme and A-beta complex. This was very important as there is no uh, substrate bound X-ray structure of insulin degrading enzyme. So the um, intermolecular interactions between the substrate and the enzyme was not well known. Here in this movie we see the dynamics of uh, enzyme substrate complex of insulin degrading enzyme uh, with A-beta 42. The yellow substrate as we can see uh, changes conformation during the simulation because of the intermolecular interactions with the substrate. And with the pink, the z active zinc active site is shown in the movie. So here we can see the interactions between the enzyme and the substrate. In these following slides, we see the validation of molecular dynamic simulations. 
So we superimpose the simulated structures with the, the part of the substrate that we had from the NMR structure. And then we compare and validate our molecular dynamic simulations. While doing that, we also um, enlighten the in, mo intermolecular interactions within the substrate and the enzyme. These simulations, we can see the intermolecular interactions within the substrate and the enzyme with uh, the, in the atomic level, which is very important as no other experimental uh, technique can show them. In this simulation, we have observed that the conformational change of the A-beta-42 and A-beta-40 inside the insulin degrading enzyme, and which plays a critical role in the hydrolysis of the substrates by the enzyme. A successful realization of all these goals will require a high accuracy level of MD simulations, which in turn depends on the nature of force field parameters. Although short time scale MD simulations were able to reproduce some of the experimentally observed parameters, fast and accurate methods will be needed in future.